Hello, this is a very useful video. Uh, I know that when we learn a language, you probably have a lot of materials or your knack of materials. In this video, I'm going to tell you how thing a language plan in general would help you to learn more efficient. Let's see what we have here. So this is a really basic framework I prepare for my student or for myself. When I learn French, uh, in the beginning, I do not have a lot of materials. So, but I do know I need some really basic thing. For example, vocab, grammar book, and a dialogue book, and ways to use your language ability. For example, input is to read, to listen, uh, output is speaking and writing. So I put the important book that I have for Cantonese. So this is actually for student. Um, so for vocab, we need to have a quizlet uh, all the time or your own flashcards to help memorizing vocabularies. So I have a scale for my student, just like playing piano, you need to drill on something. It's boring, but it's very rewarding. And we need to take care of the vocab uh, question words. And some people would get three uh, information online, for example, Cantonese 101 with the vocab. And for grammar, we all use the Yip grammar and we have a textbook. For dialogue, uh, it may not be uh, that perfect, but Cantonese 101 is one of the best in dialogue. So for people who learn Cantonese, using Cantonese 101 may be too difficult, but I do know some people like it. So some people do not like it. And actually the textbook also covers some dialogue, but it's not that natural dialogue. So if you want more dialogue, you can go to YouTube, uh, check my web page uh, on exercise, um, listening, listening exercises. And we do have a very good book always. It's uh, Betty Hong, a Cantonese book. But nowadays I don't use it. It is a very good book to use to learn vocabulary. So the dialogue is not too much. Uh, maybe it's not sufficient. And it is a very good book to know about Cantonese in a quick way, grammar, a lot of vocabularies. So this book is, if you use it, you learn a lot of vocabularies. But the problem would be, how would you link all these vocabularies into sentences? So, so many vocabularies, it could be good as a, a, a large list, a big list. But in another point of view, it may not be so concrete that you can use in your daily life. And, but you know what, when you learn a language, learning a lot of vocabularies is important anyway. So everybody knows um, vocab is the basic. All right, so for language input, reading should read intensively. Yes. So what my understanding is some people will say, oh, I will try to listen to a lot of materials, but bear in mind that in the beginning, uh, you're a beginner, uh, do something that you are comfort, uh, like you're familiar with, you're confident with. I told a student in this way. So if you need listening practice, you better have someone helping you. So for this, period of time in your beginning level or even your intermediate reading the text along with the listening would be the best mm, for example one week you can have one listening without any help without any uh, text aid and then later on after that you read the aid the text but then just once or twice a week it will be enough to know your own uh, level. But then the other time, probably six day, you six days, you read and listen at the same time, just to help yourself to input a lot of language, a lot of uh, vocab, a lot of 
a lot of content and then generalize the grammar. And for for our student, we have stories. And so why I mentioned about uh, student because this is what I'm working with, and then I know this is like the the way they grown, and I would like to share here. So I probably don't have a lot of time to teach as well, but uh, this is a resources to share to everybody. Know more about how you how you learn and which book you're using, and probably some book that you don't want to use. For example, um, so there's no well, there's a lot of book, but sometimes in in a in a, when you know about a book that don't suit you, you have to leave that book. It's, it's, it's just like this, like you have a lot of books, but some are good, some are not good, then you choose. And then uh, there's some really good resource. So how to output your language? That would be difficult for many people. Um, so some people will write it out. Some people will use Harlow Talk to interact with people. And some people will find a buddy or person, a pal, language pal to exchange language, or they will speak in a class with a real teacher one-to-one -one or in a group or with your Cantonese friend. So let's see another page. So this is another upgrade of this, the first page. So you probably need to take care of the tone as well. So you can put all the resources in this blank so add, 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 and then like later on, you come back to the tone and sometimes go to the verb, vocab, sometimes to the grammar, sometimes to the dialogue. And then don't forget to input your language at the same time, output your language. The graph is perfect. So get your grammar book, your vocab, uh, quizlet, your textbook, um, any ways that you can speak with and listen to the Cantonese songs, Cantonese sound, uh, movie, drama, news. Okay, thank you.